Welcome back. You're watching On The Spot. My name is Patrick Amara. My guest tonight is Professor Gilbert Bukenya, Member of Parliament of Osiro North Constituency. There are those, Professor, mm. who have accused the NRM government of electoral malpractice. Mm. Are those accusations mm. fair? Uh, they, they were never brought to book. If you accuse me of a, a, a malpractice, we go to a court of law. And if you win, then I've, I've malpracticed. If I'm you don't saying, win, I'm saying I'm this not. because you are quoted <laughs> to having said that you know their tactics. <laughs> you know their tactics of electoral no, practice. No, 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 no. I said I know the tactics of how we get votes. I was in the center. And I know. And nobody can play around with the, the, with the mobilization systems we have. I know them. So you uh, so you're telling Ugandans who want whom you maybe want your their support that the system you supported never participated in electoral practice. If they were taken to court and they lost, then they must have had my practices. But if you just complain, it's like a football match. If one team wins the other, the one that has been defeated will cry cry foul. But if the referee has finished and he says there is no, no problem. So I'm not going to say that there was, there may be, there were, maybe there were some malpractices, not enough to the extent of taking anyone to court. Before we came on the shore, as we drove here, yes. I met some people on the streets in Kampala who I was asking, I'm going to have an interview with you. <laughs> and they're saying, Professor Bukenya, going for the presidency, He's punching above his weight, you know, above his pedigree. That he did a good job as a vice president, yes, but that's about <laughs> it. What is punching above my pedigree? Is, are there people created by God to become presidents and others created by God not to become presidents? Well, the thing that's is that not, not everybody can become a president. Well, but I'm not everybody. I'm well educated. I can plan for this country. I am not a boxer. I cannot box for this country. Neither am I a, 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 a gunman, a sharpshooter. I cannot shoot for this country. But if for planning for this country, you weigh us. Weigh my capacity and weigh the capacities of the others. I am very capable. And my experience is not only in Uganda. My experience is in over 20 countries are where I've worked. Are you prepared for the rough and tumble of a presidential campaign? Absolutely. That takes a toll on your body, a toll on your finances, and a toll on your security? I am heresy. So the toll of my, my body is not significant. Money, I have no money. But if politics is going to be money, then it's no longer good politics. I will have enough fund to support my system, but not even enough fund to dish to people. And, 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 and I'm ready to be dished to some, of the, to some of the money by any other presidential candidate who has a lot of money. And the question Uganda must understand is we must do away with money. If money is going to be the pivotal area in which someone is getting elected, then that's going to always to be bad politics. Uh, and we must make sure we control the government money. Government money should not flick into any political support to anybody. Isn't this too early for you even to talk about the, the, the presidential uh, candidacy, especially when you have not even gone through the NRM electoral process? Because... This could just be a bubble that is going to burst tomorrow. It will. And you go to Nambole and, and they, you get minimal votes from the NRM delegates. Patrick, politics is not a straight line. Politics is a zigzag system until you reach your goal. I don't know why you are worried about me going through the primaries and then I'm, I'm going to be defeated. President Museveni. This is what he tells us was, first of all, a DP man. When he saw that the things were not working well, 
he moved and became a UPC member. This is what he tells us. Then from being a UPC member, he uh, went uh, and, be, and built a party called UPM. This is what I am told. Then from UPM, he went to, the, to fight and democratic processes in the bush and said, zero party. And that was the creation of the movement. So you're telling us no, we can also see Professor Mukenya to DP to the CP and no, no, no. No. and UPC? No. And UPC. Uh, strategically, to see where I place myself. So to have so a what maximum you're saying, professor, professor. What you're saying, Professor mm -hmm. Gilbert, is that let come what may, you will be a candidate. Absolutely. I have put in enough energies, I have put in enough strategical thinking, I have had many supporters, they are there out, uh, everybody is talking about Bukenya, 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 even in the village. Eh, how can I disappoint all those How people? sure are you that everybody is talking about Bukenya and this is not just a bubble in Kampala? Ah, ah you, you go to the villages. I am sure even when you go Patrick to Chenjojo, people will ask you about this thing they call Bukenya, what is it? It's no longer a Kampala talk. It's no longer a Buganda talk because people associate me with Buganda. It's a talk nationwide. It's a talk to say, hey, can this person be an alternative credible person? Can this person manage the mantle of this country? Even abroad, people are talking about it. And this is a good, good starting point. At one time, you talked of the mafias in this system. <laughs> Yes, and the NRM, mainly. I did. I did talk about it because it is real. I read in a paper... And, and then you later backtracked a, a, a little bit to change that, no, you are misquoted. I read a paper three. You know why I, I backtracked? I was alone in the mold, opening up my mouth. If you are alone, and there, there are no others who also open up their mouths, you can be hit, you can be shot. You just talked about However, the element of sacrifice in leadership. Yes, but you sacrifice. Why wouldn't you, you, you why wouldn't you stand on your word? You must you and name them. You and must, shame them. You must sacrifice yourself strategically. You don't just go and jump in, in, in a notion because you want to sacrifice. You must sacrifice yourself strategically. Yes, there are cliques in the NRM party. There are cliques. I was accused by national leadership to the president that I was trying to topple him from his chair. And they said, I am mobilizing Catholics, I am doing everything to topple him from the chair. He called me and we talked about it. I said, but who are these? He said, oh, tomorrow come back. And they were brought. And they, they told a naked lie to the president. And, and, That's and, why I, and, I, I, I always say, I thank President Museveni. People get annoyed when I saw this praising. But I thank him if he was any other president who was not patient. Maybe I would be dead. Because if I say, Mr. Kamara, someone is uh, undermining you in your own company and he's your employee, or he's, you are his boss, what do you do? You quickly want to suck that individual. But, but this man kept me. But the people who accused me to him were national leaders. Mafia. And you now it is coming... You, you went ahead to say that you cannot be sucked from government, and that because you are a performer. But guess what? You were sucked. Was I, no, no, no. Was I not a performer? But you stated that the president cannot remove you from the vice president's job. But you went no, ahead no, no, and no, did no. the same. No, the, if I said that, I must have been childish. Because the president appoints and the president disappoints. It is in the constitution. He has a right to appoint you. He has, he has a right to disappoint you. And that's why I was not even uh, offended by, by, by whatever happened. However, in the party, the NRM party, 
must do one thing. If it has to remain a party, sustainable, even beyond the current president. Stop breaking up the people into good children and people into bad children. Avana nebiana. Because if you have a, a child, you know that's a bad child, you're always beating. When you have a good child, even if the good child does something bad, you just say, oh, no, no. In, in, in conclusion, as we conclude, how are you positioning yourself to work with the other political organizations that are outside NRM? We are talking. Because for me now, I believe this country needs unity. This country at the current moment needs unity. People must recognize each other. We must take each other as equals and a function as a unity part, a unity system. So I'm talking to the opposition. I'm also talking to NRM people. I'm also talking to civil society. Because the country needs now unity. Do you remember when there was this chaos in Kampala during the, the, the Kabaka thing and the riot? You could see some element of disunity. One group attacking the other. I'm going to ask you this question, but with a lot of respect, Professor Gilbert, there are those who have questioned your integrity because so many years ago they would see your picture here, your picture there. In places they would <laughs> say are quite unbecoming, yes. the character that was unbecoming. So yes. isn't that going to be a baggage? No, it's not a baggage. Because if you're a leader, you lead everybody. I know some people put a picture that I was in a, a shrine, but they are shrine people. They are Ugandans. They vote, and they give you a good vote. I'm not meaning the shrine. Okay, they have seen me with girls. Yes, the girls vote. They are part of the population of Uganda. And I'm sure many people in their hideout, they do the same. So that's not a baggage. The baggage that I should be carrying is my being part of the management of the system. And I'm proud of that because, let me tell you, Patrick, I never was in politics since before 1996, just in academia. I go to politics. Within less than a year in politics, I was the chairman of the movement in parliament. Not only that, only two years after, I'm a minister of trade. Not only that, uh, a, a, a year after that, the election, I'm the minister for the president. But that's the creation Th no, that's by the president. That, no, that's, he that's, created you. No, that's, no, he didn't create me to go to, the politics. to, to politics in 1996. He's not the one who created him. By the way, he didn't even know me. He propelled you to no, where you are. No, he didn't. It's working. It is working. It is working. What I've heard <laughs> in the corridors. Yeah is that Professor Bukenya is also following some kind of a religious prophecy. Which one is I it? don't know. <laughs> is there any prophecy you're following? No, no, no. None at all. Because you see, for me, I'm a religious person. I belong to the Catholic Church. And nobody can beat me about that. It's not because I belong to the Catholic Church that the Catholics must follow me or do what. No. That's what my mother and the father put me in. And I don't follow any religious prophecy. I am following Ugandan prophecy. I want every Ugandan to enjoy this country. I want every Ugandan to be free to do what he wants to do. I want every Ugandan to be free to associate with anything. You know, people uh, 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 quarrel with me when I talk to, let's say, supposing I talk to Kiza Besige. Why are you talking to Kiza Besige? Why not? He's a Ugandan. He may be his, he has his own aspirations, uh, my aspirations, but together we can make a country. 
I remember those days ago when I used to talk to people like Alex Onzima when I went to West Nile. That time was maybe called an anti-government. Why are you going to this man's uh, constituency? You are promoting him. This was all the noise in Kampala. Today, where is Alex Onzima? He's in government. And uh, talking to people is extremely important. Isolating people is a danger to this country. I want to bring here a presidency which brings everybody together. Professor Bukenya, back at your home, the other home mm. in Luantama, to mm. be exact, you are a great farmer, you have a number of cows, you have fish ponds. <laughs> here in Katomi, you have a, a recreation center, you have a hotel, you have a beautiful, incredibly beautiful home here. I mean, you can retire here and look after your grandchildren. <laughs> Why get into the mud and, of, of these politics, in conclusion? Sacrifice to provide something positive to Uganda. I don't want to go to politics to make money. I made my money in my medical field. And I'm still making money in my medical field. But you must sacrifice to pop out. Ugandans from poverty. I don't like this idea. Uh, current people in politics are saying, oh no, you, we are done very well. Every hill around the Kampala is full up with houses. That's, that, that's what they say as their credit. I am asking them, are you the one who are, who are building these houses for these people? What is the sweat of the individual? Oh, you know when you fly, you see only Mabati houses. Have you given them about to those people? If you go to some of these uh, residentials, like a Jomai, with beautiful houses, look at the road going there. Who is responsible for the road? It's the government. They should say, we have done very well in our, all these housing estates. We have put a road going there. But don't claim credit where you are not credit worthy. Professor Gilbert Bukanya. Thank you very much for being our guest tonight. You must support me. <laughs> we'll, we, we'll talk about that. We'll meet when you're crossed 2016. Probably we'll have to do this interview in a different capacity. Thanks. That was Professor <laughs> Gilbert Bukenya, former Vice President of Uganda and Member of Parliament with Ciro North Constituency. Join us again next week when we bring you yet another edition of On the Spot. On behalf of my production crew, Aaron and his group, thank you very much. Good night and God bless.